and welcome to Somerset Farms. New map for Farming Simulator just came out today. Uh, I'm UK Gamer 808 and we are going to do a first look mod review map tour of Somerset Farms. And so far I've spent about two hours having a look round at various bits and bobs and it looks pretty cool. Loving it. So it's not a massive map but it's not small. So well it is small but it's not huge sorry i meant to say <laughs> right anyway let's have a look at the map itself so there it is and we're starting off down the bottom there just here is your main farm area where we've got the cows and our silo and then you've got our various the shop is actually there it actually shows it up this way where's it gone it says shop there but it's not that's a mistake i think it, the shop's there and then we got the pub which is a sell point biogas and we come around to the barn then the port south east which is the main sell point with the animal dealer with the pigs and that isn't the shop we've got the sheep at the top and then the chickens and the sawmill so it's uh that's the overall you can see how much smaller it is compared to a normal map but it doesn't seem that small when you're driving around it is classic uk countryside and yeah nice map so far so what do you get to start that's what you get started off with now this field over here you can sell that one however you have got chickens on there so it won't let you do that so that's the thing with a lot of these what i've got certain areas i don't think you can sell the chickens you can't because they're built into the game now the other area you did get is that bit and you can sell that for 694,000 which you can see is quite a big area is is biogas because biogas is just there so that's included oh that's included with that cost and then it owns you own these other areas just going around the edge animal dealer around there and cost of fields well there is you can see there's quite a few fields i think it was 50 fields and one of the biggest ones is field number 50 and that's 423,000 that's 201 182 and then we have got these smaller fields as well that's like 23 grand 61 grand so they're not too bad really not not badly priced whatsoever but you only start off with field number 14 on new farmer however you do get some nice equipment with it and we go on to the prices now this is what we got so we got the barn now biogas we've already got that because it's part of the main area and then port southeast for selling your main commodities and remember if you want more sell points we've got them in the game you can put them in as a mod you can put a couple more in so you can triple what you've got at the moment for your main commodities we've got the sawmill and the spinnery and the pub now the pub does your milk and your eggs and then the spinnery obviously does your wool and cotton which and then we move down to biogas plant you can see it's really good money at biogas for 900 pounds on the silage and 900 pounds on the manure and 720 on slurry so yeah pretty cool pricing on that you're going to make some good money for it and sawmill on wood chips was 130 so not too bad the prices for your other main commodities wheat's there at 580 a little bit low on that side but soya beans up at 1400 where prices are all for not we're on normal settings now it does say there's some bespoke missions for it as well which we got a couple of transporting missions there so overall that's the overall of somerset farms so let's get into this map review so we're starting off we've got the main house here where we're going to do our sleeping just like that and we'll put the little map on so you can see where we are so basically we're on the left hand side and we have some storage areas just here and then we spin it around and we've got a lot of our equipment is outside at the moment we've got this main shed and these are the tractors we start off with a t5 t7 and john deere can't be bad can it whatsoever so a bit more equipment in there now these buildings are 
built into the game there's quite a few buildings built into the game if we go in and show you what we've got in the garage at the start and there's the tractors as I was saying about it. and then we've got the TX32 got a trailer header plow cedar mower tether windrow and baler front loaders then header trailer and then we have got a large grain silo which is 200,000 litres and a water station and the slot count is 539 so if we delete all those after deleting everything we have 321 slots which is quite low compared to most maps so not too bad at all right then so yeah decent uh, equipment it's nice to have different tractors rather than just the standard ones we always get so that was the way we came into the farm there down the main road and sorry that's where i drove in came down that way and we turned into the farm so over this side we've got the other area just over here where we've got some storage sheds just over here and then we go around the back and we've got our silo farm silo just there and then our fill up point for the silo just there so you can drive all the way around and get that around and then another storage shed just there with a few more bits of kit in so we want to head over that way and we have our cows so this is a cow shed which is built into the game so cows going in there and then your straw and your food because I didn't see a different point so there's your food and your straw's got to be there because this we've got a slurry point just over there and then manure point there and then coming around this side we have our milk pickup area is just there where those chevrons are and then we've got a bunker silo which is quite a decent size on the farm itself so that's that's a you're going to get a lot in there it's not small is it and then we come back to where we were before well i get lost there i was thinking where's it gone now the there's collisions on the hedges so you can't drive through any of the hedges you there's no cheating on this map and it is classic British where you see things and you've got to double back on yourself to go and get to them. So the first cell point, well the place of interest we're going to go first of all, I think we'll go down to the sawmill and show you down the chickens down there as well. So we have got plenty of traffic going on and moving quite slowly. Whereas I know there's a couple of maps coming out where they're doing about 40 mile an hour and they're going to take you out. So that'll be interesting. So we'll come down to the sawmill on the left hand side. Left hand? The right hand side. Swing a right and then it's left. And we go into the sawmill and we've got plenty of trees around this area which is always nice to have it right at the sawmill so you don't have to cart it around too much. You can make some easy money. So that's the drop off point just over there, chevroned off for the wood. And then we go on around the back for our wood chip pile just there. So we cut across just over here. Um, when I come up here, there's this. Now this takes you out of the map, but there's a tree there what needs clearing. Well, let's stop and have a look. There it is. That road rage was getting carried away then. And we turn down this track here and takes us down towards the chickens. And there's our chickens. So we've got our feeding trough just there. And I haven't put any chickens in yet, so I take it it's there. No. Nope. That must be for the eggs. I couldn't find the trigger for it so you'll have to get it through the animal dealer there probably is a trigger and then probably should put the help window on and might help might show up a little bit then no uh, there was the trigger over here now we got a water tank just there now that is a mod in the game 
so you, if you don't want that you can get it removed yeah see that's I'm mm, very unsure on that one that's what I was thinking the eggs are going to be over there and then that would be where to fill them up or do they need water I don't know we'll have to get some chickens and and find out because I could not work it out oh and we went straight through that one into that one yeah so unclear on that if you've worked it out let me know in the comments it might not be there I don't know sometimes these tr triggers do disappear in the ground a little bit now we will we'll head back because this is a well you can get out on the main road there and then we've got the sheep at the top there but we'll go around the other way so we go back the way we came because there's a there is a main road what runs right the way through the map but that's a nice look, nice looking building it's a nice map really is a nice detail on it all the foliage and the grass fantastic and all these trees not too many trees I'm not a fan with some maps just go mental with trees but this is just in in certain areas you've got a lot of trees which behind this that's the main one and you see over on the left hand side there, there's the other area of trees. Not a huge area again, but uh, plenty of trees for if that's what you want to be making some money. So I think we'll overtake these cars and get down the road here. So that was the left going into the farm, and then we head our way down. When you see the shop icon isn't there, but the shop is on the right hand side, just coming up. So I think that's just a little glitch with that icon and we turn into here and the first thing I did was hit the wall and here we have our shop area so we got our shop icon just there and then our workshop trigger just there well if you park your vehicle in there so that's got a covered bit there you can't get into any of these other buildings Oh, and it's got two shot points. There's another shot point just over there. But you couldn't go in these buildings. No, you can. I checked earlier. I couldn't get in there. Right. Right then. Let's get out of here. Yeah, and I had it in car, and I just went bang straight into that wall. And it was like, yeah, that's not good. Right, so that's the shop. We head our way up the road now. And on the wrong side of the road we are. Where we've got the biogas on the left, but we'll go down to the pub first. Which was at this turn down here. You can see there is a bit of contour to this land. It's not flat. And it's not that hilly, but it's uh, it's nice. And we come into here, which more storage. These are Lancy Boy sheds, I think. I'm pretty sure they are. And yeah, nice size storage area. Pretty cool. And then the drop off is just there, but there are no chevrons. We do have these markers. Well, I don't know what they are. They are lights on, eh? I didn't quite understand. It might make sense at night. I don't know. But I checked earlier. See, I've got a tanker with a little bit of milk in there. And as soon as you come up, the trigger will appear. There it is, milk. Start overloading. Jobs are good. Enough. So we've got more storage areas over on the right here. So there's plenty of places to store any equipment. And they're ni it's nice, it's around the map, so it's not just at the farm. There's a few more to of them to go yet as well. So we're heading our way down this way and this is where we have our horses. So we got our buy point for the horses just there. And I got a couple of them in there to get going with. And then over this way we have our 
food trough just there and then at the other side we have our water trough just over there and then going round we got this area for exercising or do with whatever you want and then we, there is a load of jump set up just over yonder if that's what you want and there's another sh storage shed just over there so plenty of storage plenty plenty right so we move on our way back down to biogas and then we're cut, cut across the map because we want to go over to those buildings over there on the right hand side but it's classic British where you see, oh, we just there's a road, we'll just go down there. No, there's not. You've got to go all the way around, come back on yourself. So we will head that back down to the biogas, which is only just here. Now this trigger here, that's the spinnery. So we've got spinnery and biogas. So we've got our digestate trigger there and then it looks like we can drop on the deck or we, well even with a trader you can tip straight into the back of there can't you there is uh, two bunker silos here as well so that's biogas and spinnery and what we'll do we'll head down this way and this will take us to the back to the top left hand side of the map and you see we're coming up to this other forestry area just turn down here there's more storage sheds on the right hand side there but that'd be a nice little forest to clear out that and then we head our way round on this dirt track which bring us down to the other side you can see over the top where are we over there is where the chickens are where that water ta tank is oh I need to come back out of there because the gap in the fence is over here where's it gone all right I thought it was there because we can't get through can we no Anyhow, see what I mean? There's no cheating. If there's not a fence, uh, a gate, you're not getting through. And I really did think there was a gate. That's why, well, when I looked over, I saw the gap. I came back up there earlier and it was like, there is no gap. Oh well, never mind. And we didn't want to go that way. We wanted to go into this way where the sheep are. So you can see now we're right at the top left hand side of the map. And here we go for the sheep. So here is our sheep enclosure for buying just there. And then there's your food trough. And then the water was out in the field just over here. There's the water trough for them. Now it did say it was ready for a couple of different pastures for the sheep but I hadn't worked that one out I suppose it doesn't matter I'm not too sure with seasons I haven't had time to go through it all right here we have another one of these sheds now these are huge sheds double doors in there as well awesome and that is for the wool Right, so we head down this road here. Now this road, because it's at the edge of the map there, it ends. So we have to do a little bit of 
across country through the fields and I've already been this way well, we're going this way because I've already opened up the the gates because I was like well how are you getting through there and there is a way through up this top end oh so we're now coming down towards the pigs so they're uh, just up here where we've got more storage and then for buying your pigs the trigger's just there oh hang on I thought that was the trigger no hang on there's the manure point for them just there a food point and then we go right to the water so what is that other trigger over there then I should know where it is really I bought these two earlier and there they are there's the pigs there Ah, straw, isn't it? That's a straw trigger. So that's where your pigs are located. You see at the top end of the map now. And then we head our way down to the main sow point. I think we can actually get through that gap there. Yep, if I could drive. There we go, we're in. So this is the port southeast drop off point just there, the cell point, and then we go around to this side and we've got the animal dealer. And there it is large sheep pen, K pen, horse paddock, large pig enclosure. Why are the chickens not on there? Because I thought we'd get here and we'd buy some chickens to see if they're... But the chickens... So how do you buy chickens? It looks like that's a little glitch at the moment then. Unable to buy chickens. Let me know if you've been able to buy chickens on Somerset Farms. Right then, so we come back out of here and we head out way down this way and we have our fuel station just there and there is a cash point just round the side there and this is the little track we need to go down head down this way down towards the barn and here is the barn and you see two massive storage sheds again manure by point well I'm sh pretty sure that's manure by point I haven't checked it it might even be the cell actually because no they don't they don't take manure so that is a by point and that's the drop off for the barn you see there there it is the barn well Somerset Farms nice map Always nice to have new maps for Farming Simulator. Can't beat new maps. We've got so many maps now, it's quite crazy. But that is the map overall. We've been about everywhere you need to go. And basically, I've just got to double back down to get back down to the farm. So if you've enjoyed this map tour of Somerset Farms from Farming Simulator, then don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you are new to the channel and never seen any of my footage before, then you should go and check out my other videos. And if you like what you see, maybe hit that subscribe button. And you might, you won't miss any other future content. Righto, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. New mods video out later, so go and check that out. Till next time, goodbye.